August the 23rd, 2017. You're looking at the visible radar image or satellite image from the Gulf of Mexico. This uh, storm, Harvey, that we've been watching, guys, is now going back into a tropical depression, just as we thought it would. There's some updates that if you're not watching the weather that I think are critical and you need to pay very close attention to. One thing uh, they're predicting now for the storm to strengthen into a tropical storm, possibly a Cat 1 hurricane before it strikes somewhere near Houston, according to the models now. And one of the things you're talking about is, is because it's moving so slow, it's going to move into Houston, Texas, or that area. Of course, our models are going to change some. But as it moves into Houston, Galveston area, they're expecting it to be, peak, uh, be picked up by a, another front coming across the United States and moving slowly along the coast, possibly keeping one foot out in the water. What that means is they're saying, Houston, you could see 18 inches of rain as this storm comes in and curves back. Now, of course, if it keeps a foot in the water, this rain is going to be heavy all along the Louisiana, Mississippi area, all the way through here, and depending on the track. But let's look at that track because that in itself is interesting. Now, this is one of the strangest spaghetti models you'll see after it gets this close to land. Usually, they're a little more defined. But you got your Canadian model stalling out here, slowly moving into the uh, southern Texas border and maybe curving back into Mexico. But uh, one of the things that are very interesting is if you look here, all of these storms are slowing and recurving. You see this? Some go up, curve all the way back around. I'm talking just total chaos depending on which way they're being picked up by the front. Now, the uh, National Hurricane Center is showing it basically along this light green line. That's what they are showing now if you look at the, uh, some of the, the channels that are on TV. Now, because of this curvature and this slow forward movement, strengthening is going to occur. It's in some of the warmest waters in the world, and it's going to get even warmer. Now, this is the predicted path, again, the Green Line National Hurricane Center, but the cone of uncertainty is very wide. You see this? Then it shows a curve and keeping itself out over the water. Now, it's saying by Friday, it, by this particular model, it will be up to a strong, cat um, excuse me, a strong tropical storm, just four miles under a Cat 1 hurricane. I don't think that's going to happen, guys. I think it's going to get a little stronger than that. Right now, your winds are 35 miles an hour, but it's moving very slowly. Notice nine miles an hour. That's giving it time to strengthen. And when you're dealing with the water going from where it's at now, warm to even warmer, then you've got trouble. Texas, Louisiana, pay attention to this in the next few days. Now, notice at very important, 8 a.m. Friday, right there, guys. It's right offshore. But notice Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the storm hasn't moved much. And it's still got a foot in the water. Again, her National Hurricane Center model. Check that out. Three, you got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, without much movement of the storm. And always this edge, the leading edge of the storm, is going to have the highest waves and the highest winds. Right now, at what they're focusing on, and we're going to keep an eye on it, uh, I'm going to be in uh, Phoenix by this afternoon, settle down for about a week, and I can get a little more detail. I'm just getting this up before I get back on the road this morning, guys. But, um, again, the rain is going to be intense. It's going to last for a long period of time. And during Matthew, more people were drowned and, and more people died from inland flooding than coastal flooding. Okay, but uh, just keep an eye on it, guys. Uh, tonight, I'm going to try to give you a full update on the sun, on the storm, and a couple other things that are going on. I know that the videos have been short, but they're hard to do when you're on the road, you're packing, traveling, 1,000 miles a day. You just, I, I appreciate you guys bearing with me on this trip. It's a heads up. Be safe.